What's up, y'all? Twisted Minds. Back here on some beautiful country back roads. Got a pretty canopy of uh, trees hanging over here. It's nice. Just figured I'd show y'all a little bit of what this country boy kind of born and raised at. Born and raised back in these country woods. Uh, not real, real close to where I'm at now, but not far out. I'm in Coweta County, uh, heading into Noonan. And uh, I was born and raised around Noonan and uh, Palmetto area. Uh, probably end up getting some uh, footage one day of uh, back in some of the old houses I used to actually live in. Bring back some. Man, I tell you, it's been a minute since I've been on the bike. It's been a few weeks, and uh, it's just nothing clears my mind like riding a bike. For those of you that's never, ever ridden on a bike or, or thinking about buying a bike or, uh, you know, so forth, it is no other thing on this earth that will compare to a motorcycle. And the experience of riding down the road, the open road and the freedom. I've never been a drug addict or anything like that. I used to smoke my fair share of weed back in the day. That was when I was young, dumb, and full of cum. I had nothing better to do. Uh, but my thing now, you know, is, is the bike. It is my addiction. And don't get me wrong, I got children and a wife. And they're my addiction. They're number one. But... I can ha be having a stressful week, stressful day, have a lot on my mind, and I can jump on my bike and go ride, and it, it's like better than morphine to a drug addict. <laughs> it is uh, just one of them things, and I don't even have to be stupid on a bike. It just clears my mind, just that sudden awe factor comes over, you know? Um, if you've never ridden before, it's something that you you have no idea. Uh, once you ride, it's understandable. You'll see what I'm talking about. My wife, she loves it. She's addicted to it, and it is addictive. Um, sitting here pondering on what I'm going to name this vlog, but uh, maybe the awe factor. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Seems like everybody and the brothers got videos of crashes and videos of, of stupid people doing stupid stuff. They never actually show the, the true, probably 90% of, of the writing, you know, the, the real actual deal. You don't have to be out here acting stupid all the time to have good footage and, uh, you know, enjoy yourself. Uh, don't get me wrong, you know, I play too. This road I'm on now, uh, it's got some good curves on it. If my wife wasn't on the back with me, then I'd probably be hitting them a whole lot harder than I do. Uh, I got bear things to do and have her beating the hell out of me whenever I'm going around a curve because I'm freaking her out. So I do slow down for them. I want things to be enjoyable for her too. Uh, you know. I like to ride, I like to ride hard. She does too, she's a rider. She'll ride as hard as I want to ride, but I don't want to freak her out neither. You know, we've run from the police together. Uh, so I know she'll, uh, she'll jump on board. And uh, she, she'll ride as hard as I want to ride, but you know. I do act stupid, don't get me wrong, but 
there's another side of riding where you don't always have to be going crazy on a bike. You get these guys out here riding these smaller bikes starting out, they don't know no better. They get a little comfortable with the bike. Next thing you know, you hear about them wrecking it. I know, because I've been a little stupid on bikes before. And uh, I've wrecked before. But uh, it's not always all about how fast you can go or how skilled of a rider you are. It's about the ride period, you know? I could take these curves a whole lot faster than I have. I took that curve, those two back-to-back -back curves right there I just went around. I've went around them over 90 mile an hour before. I was on a bike by myself, laid it over, almost dragging me. But you know, I don't have to do it that way. I get enjoyment out of it too, but I enjoy just chilling. Um, but I just figured I'd get a little bit of these back roads for y'all. Get a little slower side of things. I mean, just because I ride a boozer don't mean I got to ride balls out all the time. So, you know, just want to show some of you people that that's never ridden before the pure joy of what it feels like just to cruise. Just because I'm on a sport bike don't mean I got to drive like a bat out of hell all the time. I'm on a booster for God's sake. I have nothing to prove. <laughs> I mean, y'all know what the stats are on a booster. Y'all know it's a, uh, technically 1340 cc. 1,340 cc. It's got plenty of balls to it. I could twist the throttle and do whatever I want to do with it. It'll stand up in every gear. Uh, you know, it's fast and stupid fast from the factory. Uh, I can make it faster, and I have made it a little faster. Uh, you know, but that don't mean I got to ride fast all the time. I like to kick back and enjoy the ride too. Uh, I'm a little crazier when the wife's not on. I want her to enjoy herself and not be fearful for her life the entire trip. <laughs> but I try not to lean it over as hard when she's on here too. As y'all see, my curves and stuff, I've actually been downshifting and hitting the brake a little bit. I just try to make it a smoother ride for her. I don't want her to have a death grip at all on the whole ride. I mean. We all have that adrenaline that pumps through our veins. We all enjoy speed and going stupid. But, you know, it's not a necessity all the time. But anyway, on a lighter note, it's Twisted Minds, y'all. Out enjoying this day and uh, enjoying life. Hope y'all are doing the same. Y'all got any questions you ever want to hit me up? I got a Facebook account too. Uh, if y'all aren't already friends on there, hit me up on there. If y'all are friends, I expect y'all to be watching my damn videos, commenting, and uh, liking my shit. Uh, be a friend, you know. <laughs> but anyway, y'all. Y'all enjoy y'all's day. And uh, I hope y'all are having a beautiful day like I am. Twisted Minds. I'm out, y'all.